Howdy y'all, you got the Bulldog on the channel. Ran down to the old Harbor Freight yesterday and got my free bucket for the Inside Track Club. And I got a grease gun and a tube of Molly grease. I'm gonna grease the spindles on this tractor here and I gotta get out and get my yard mowed. I got the first mowing done less than a week ago, which is bad. Uh, I used to have grease guns around here, but they've all gotten away. And the ones that I've got left are the ones that dad had that had the big handle on them. So I ran down there and got me a pistol grip and it was cheap. I thought I was going to have to run by Tractor Supply, but turns out they've got grease too. So I got it in one stop. You can either put the straight end on or the hose. I'm going to use the hose. Comes with the pipe, but I'm not going to use it. I don't have any wrenches up here, so I'll use my awl wrench <clears throat> and my monkey paws. I might just go ahead and put the grease in here first. You notice I did the right thing and just threw the instructions down. I'm sure they tell me all the ways how to do it. They probably don't work. I know these, you don't want to over torque them. And you want to make sure you don't cross thread this thing too. Come on, there we go. I usually start it and then pop that and it kind of pushes a lot of the air out. Tighten it up. Hey, it's already priming. It managed to not shoot me in the face, so win. All right, we're gonna grease this deck here real quick before we take off and mow. And I gotta fill it up with fuel too. Of course, I haven't cleaned out the building yet, so goat crap everywhere. There we go. Now it's primed. I've never greased this tractor, but I know where to grease it. them other two spindles and we'll fill it up with fuel. 
Okay, now since I'm parking the tractor up here, I'm just gonna hang the gun right there. My boss told me that I, my boss told me that I needed to grease at least those three spindles every mowing, but I mow about a third as much as he does, so I'll probably grease it every other time, but this last one was a heavy mow because I'd never mowed this year. We had to rebuild this tractor. Uh, he bought that little John Deere, and this one had the belly gears stripped out of it. Well, it took us years to get those belly gears. We got that done here uh, this winter. And then this was sitting in the back of that red S10 you saw in the background of some of my videos. Because we had pulled it off of there, had to move it for the flood and all that kind of stuff. Well, we took it back and he completely went through it, fixed the front end where it was rusted out. New blades, painted it all up to bore that out and put a bushing in it because that wheel was flopping and you always turn left because it's a it's a race tractor and you always turn left so that was the one that always tried to wear out so we drilled that hole out right there and put a bushing in there and now we got a bushing inside there and it'll uh next time we wear it out we can just replace that bushing but this is a nice little rig 1210 ford Got the little diesel engine. We're gonna fill it up with fuel now. It's still got just a little bit of fuel in it that has some power service in it from this winter. So I ran it way low last time. Not because I didn't have any, not because I used up everything I had when I did the yard out there, but, and yeah, it's still a freaking mess. This is, used to be the goat pen. And everybody threw their junk in the goat pen and now yeah grass is growing up through it and I, i'm not mowing it because i don't know what's underneath all that grass the last thing i picked up was right here where so i could get the tractor through here and i had a you know uh self mobile spicy rope that was you know trying to wrap around my legs so i moved everything and just we will let somebody else deal with that yeah i'm doing the mowing you do the preparing just don't do that while i'm out there kids and parents don't have anybody out there when you're mowing i've taken out a window on my house window on the trans am window on the beetle and i am careful about where i point the thing so things can go wrong just fyi This tank does not hold a full five gallon, so I'm gonna have to stop it. Oh, I'm dribbling. Gosh darn it. There we go. Oh boy. <laughs> This can set over here. How do you like that? Just about right, isn't it? And then I got some paper towels to clean up my, my mess because I cannot aim, especially when I got it squirting out the side. Ain't that right, guys? Okay, now we're going to check the oil. If you're wondering what the old goat barn is, it is a box van. There's the door that used to go into the cab. It worked great for goats because what you would do is they would be used to that door being open over there. 
and they'd be running around in circles because they were spooked and panicked and you were trying to get them in here to trim their hooves or give them a trimming a hair trim or anything like that, milk them if they had kids and they would get used to running circles. And then you'd have somebody standing there behind that door. And when they'd run through it, you'd reach over and shut the door. And then they'd make their circle and they'd come in here and then, oh, shoot, the door's shut. And then you can stand here and stop them. And before we had the stanchion, these D hooks along the sides where the furniture would be strapped up to it or whatever they were hauling, I'd take one of them lead ropes that's just a little short thing uh, and I'd half hitch it through that and hook it to their collar and I'd hook a, a leash onto uh, their outside leg and I'd hook it up to one of those and they'd be standing there on three legs and they couldn't kick you. Uh, they would try to move their front leg but they couldn't really get to you with their front leg and you'd be able to milk the goat up there against that. You'd not hurt the goat and it wouldn't kick the kid and you could do all that. But I am really glad we don't have goats anymore. Really, really glad. There, check the oil here. We're good. Yes, it takes a car, car filter. I think it's a 116, which is a, like a filter for a 3.0 Ford V6, something like that. All right, I'm gonna go down and get my key and I'm ready to mow now. Even though this is a little tractor, it almost doesn't fit. I've got a little bit of room around it, but the shop's clear full of stuff now, so. And even though it's warm, I still have to heat the glow plugs. Custom gauges too. Got Frenched in there and Painted to match and all that kind of stuff. There we're. Let's go, Mo! stuck down here. I had to go get my wife and have Mitzi pull me out. Okay, 
I got it done before the rain come, which that's kind of what I was worried about. It's supposed to have a chance of showers, maybe. Uh, I was so busy last week, I didn't get any automotive content done. That's kind of why I'm doing this. I mean, I was going to go ahead and move everything around. All those vehicles out there that I have to mow around, it, they're all going to get moved, but it didn't work out this week. So I'll probably be doing that next weekend. I do want to show you this here. I think I showed you before. These little Harbor Freight floodlights that we put on it. Lights things up pretty good. What we had before was incandescence and they were like holding a candle and then we put on some halogens and they melted the housings. So we put these Harbor Freight lights on there my son, has, I think, had that on his channel. Possibly, I don't know. Uh, but they fit in the housings pretty darn good. And they're cheap enough, you know. But uh, look forward to automotive content coming back next week. Uh, I think it's supposed to slow down a little bit. But you never know. It might just ramp right back up. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit your little bell notification. Share it all around. We'll talk to you later.